Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brianna, welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a really, really fun video for you guys. I'm sharing with you guys my favorite book boyfriends of all time. So I have a lot, I can't really choose, I, uh, yeah, I can't really choose who's my favorite because I just love all of them. Uh, so I'm gonna jump right in and hopefully you guys feel the same way about some of these characters because you know, I love them all. But the first one is pretty much all the people from the, I don't have like a physical copy of the book, but all the guys from L. Kennedy's Off Campus series, I really love all of them. And also Jen Frederick's um, football series, I don't know what it's called. Next I also don't own one, but I have like, you know, a little bracelet. And that's Kaiden Rowe from the Sweet Evil series. I just love him so much and this is my bracelet he's a drummer so it says I'm with the drummer and on the back it says property of Kaiden Row. I love Kaiden so freaking much he's just like the bad boy and he's just uh, beautiful love him and he looks really nice on those book covers let me tell you about that but if you don't know Sweet Evil is kind of it's a YA paranormal romance type of book so they are there's a whole bunch of teenagers that are the sons and daughters of like the deadly sins or sins in life so he is the son of lust and she turns out to be the daughter of i think like i forgot what you call it but like gambling drugs and all that uh like that sin I forgot what the sin's called but I love that trilogy so much it's one of my favorites of all time I sadly don't own it because I always get it from the library but you know that can change so next book book boyfriend for me is Brady from after the game by Abby Glines I absolutely love him he's like the wholesome sweet guy and he is from the south he's from Alabama so he has that southern accent and he's just so sweet. He's the quarterback of the football team, and he's always there for everyone, and he's just trying to please everyone and just be a better person, and I just love him for that. I love his personality traits, and I like that he is kind of featured in all three books, uh, books one and two, and this one. This is his own novel, so I really like that. And also promo for Abby Glines, book, three, uh, book four is coming out. August 20th so definitely go check it out if you love this series or if you are interested in it. The next one is probably one of my favorites of all time and that's Jamie Frazier from Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I just love Jamie. I love him. I, I have like a picture of him so in my dorm room what I'm doing this year is I kind of have string lights and on the string lights there's the little clips I don't know what they're called but th you can hang pictures on them so you know I gotta print out a picture of my Jamie Frazier and put him on my dorm room I just love him so much I love Scottish people like I love their accents I love the culture there just everything about it gives me the feels I just love it and just Jamie Frazier is just a beautiful soul I love how he's portrayed how he's written and just everything about him just makes me smile whenever I read it he's he's very tough he's strong because you have to be in the 1700s it's very different from nowadays but he's just very I don't know he's protective of his family he's also very boisterous and friendly but he's rough around the edges at the same time so I feel like he has so many great qualities about him and I just love Jamie Frazier I love him so much go check out Outlander if you haven't read it so the next one is a bit of a controversial one I feel like people don't really like him and that's Sam from the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mass. everyone always picks one of the other guys and don't get me wrong I love I liked I liked Kale over Dorian if you have read this book I liked Kale over Dorian which happens like the first two books and then I really liked Rowan after that but I feel like Sam always steals the cake for me I just really love him I love how he is kind of the twin assassin to Selena and he's just so funny he knows all the things that she does wrong they always rip on each other and it's just their relationship is so adorable and I really love Sam as a character I don't know why people don't like him as much uh, maybe it's because they haven't read this book but I I really love him and just everything about his personality and how he kind of portrays himself 
and he's very protective over Selena. Even though they didn't like each other at first, I just really like the friendship that comes before the, I guess, regular relationship. So I really love Sam. The next one is one of also my all-time favorites, and that's Resand from A Court of Mist and Fury by Saturday Night Mass. If you guys have read this book, I love him. But my thing is, I feel like I love her books dearly, but I feel like everyone kind of plays it out of like control and everyone's like obsessed with it and I'm kind of like on the back burner like I kind of read these before it got big but I'm like eh I don't want to obsess over it as much anymore so I really I love Sarah's writing and I love these books don't get me wrong I just hate how people are so like rah 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 about them if that makes sense like they're kind of picky and I don't know they they think it's for them and I'm I'm just over it but I really love Resand as a character I like his personality I do like that he is kind of a fantastical person whereas the other ones kind of are more real life characters minus him but I just really enjoy him he's very funny kind of he's closed off and guarded but I feel like that that's like a bigger picture of what he is so I just really liked him as a character then the next one will probably be controversial as well and that is Hunter from Obsession by Jennifer Labertrout one this book's not as popular as a Lux series but two he is an Aram and Arams are kind of the hated species in the Luxon world but I really loved Hunter I feel like I like him a little more than Damon but again Damon's on this list as well so I'll put Damon up they're both my book boyfriends they are kind of the supernatural aspect and I really love each the qualities in each of them I feel like Hunter is I just really like his character he's very misunderstood he kind of doesn't really talk a lot but he's in it for more than himself if that makes sense he's he wants to do better he wants to better himself and him and Serena and how he treats her is just amazing and again Damon I love Damon I love um him and Katie's relationship because Katie's essentially my personality uh so I just really like him he's very snarky he's just out of there and you know gotta love Damon Next one, yet again, another Jennifer Lauren Machado, and that is Roth from White Hot Kiss. And I know this is also kind of controversial as well, because some people like uh, Zayn, some people like Roth, but I'm a Roth person. I just liked how he didn't hold back Layla, and he encouraged her to do things that she wanted to do, and to find herself, and all of that. And I just really liked his personality. He was very protective as well, even though he didn't really show that much emotion, and just everything about him made me happy. The next one is a new favorite, and that would be... The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Uh, this is Michael. He, I really liked his personality and how uh, Helen portrayed him as well. He's very understanding of Stella and what she's gone through and everything. He's he's very like on the quiet side, but he's out there. He does mixed martial arts and he's just trying to provide for himself and trying to make a living. And I just really like how kind of stubborn but smart he is at the same time if that makes sense he is very I know how to describe him like headstrong and he wants to be a good person for his family he's very close to his family and he's family oriented which I also love about him I just really liked Michael as a character and I really enjoyed how Helen created this world and this and he's more of also a realistic character the next one is also a new favorite, and that's Rainer Culty by Marianne Culty. Wait, Rainer Culty from Culty by Marianne Zapata. That was a mouthful. I really loved Rainer. At first, I was a little off put by him. It took a little bit to get into his character, but I think that's the whole point of this. It's a slow burn. It's kind of a love to hate to love type of deal, and there's like friendship involved. I just really liked him. He was on the quieter side. He didn't really express his feelings, but I really like how he stood up for what he wanted and he just loved Sal the way she loved him and I really loved the ending. If you have read this and you know the ending with 
how he kind of expresses his feelings that like uh, that put me over the end like the edge and I was dying he is just he's adorable in his own way he's very even though he's like quiet the, his actions really portray how he feels and I just really loved him as a character and it doesn't hurt that he was a former professional soccer player and I think he has a rush or like a European accent I believe I forgot his um I forgot where he's from. I know he played for Germany, but I don't think he was German. So I definitely know he's a European accent, but I really, really loved him. And just this book is just so good. Next, I have uh, another favorite, and that's Leave It Curlo from Sweet Soul by Tilly Cole. I do love Romeo also, but I think I like Levy a little bit more. I really, I kind of felt for him, if that makes sense. And I kind of... I liked how he was portrayed. He was very quiet, he, even though he was, uh, I think, University of Washington or Seattle, something like that. He played football, very popular, but he was just quiet. He didn't really talk to girls. And I really liked how his character not only grew as a person, but he just kind of found his own niche and he became his own person. He didn't, he wasn't really in the shadow of his brothers. And I just really love the concept of this book and him as a person. He's such a sweet person and I really like how he was just genuine. I feel like a lot of guys in romance books are kind of portrayed as douchebags or very like the bad boys. And I just like how he was a genuine true person and he stuck to himself and he wasn't like trying to be a different person if that makes sense. But I really loved his character. Then we have, okay, this is like a little bit like I love him, but I wouldn't date him if that makes sense. And that's Flame from Souls Unfractured by Tilly Cole. I would never date him. I would never date anyone in this world just because it is kind of a messed up, screwed up world. So I wouldn't date anyone from this world, but I just really love his character. It just, his character has so much emotion behind it. And I feel like, I don't know, I really connected with the story on like, a deeper level than just physically reading it and enjoying it and I really really loved his character I felt for everything he went through and just his development as a person and everything about that I really really enjoyed and I love him again I wouldn't date him just because I wouldn't want to be stuck in this world but I just loved his character and my last book boy bleh, my last book boyfriend is Jethro from Grin and Bearded by Penny Reed I loved Jethro. He was hilarious. He was so funny, especially that he was with Sienna, and Sienna's like the comedy actress. She's just the comedy queen. I really loved his character. You definitely saw development as well in his character because there was kind of jail time before, and it went through that to now he's a good person, and he's like one of the older brothers in the family. I I'm not sure if he's the oldest, but he's one of the older brothers, and he kind of has to be a person that his brothers look up to, and I just love how all these characters are about family, and they're very, very close to each other, and I just loved him as a character. So yeah, those are all, like, my main book boyfriends that I have, like, a nice place in my heart for. I love every single one of them individually. I really love their characteristics. As you can tell, I'm more of a personality person, so I think these books really like really set the mark for me and I hope you guys agree with some of them comment down below who your like number one book boyfriend is I would love to know or book girlfriend let me know uh so I hope you guys enjoy this video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in my next video bye